Hello and welcome to Fortrade. In this short video, I will explain how to use our platform for trading, Mobile Fortrader. Before we begin, I want to let you know that you can contact our support centre or your dedicated support representative for any further information or help whenever you want. So let us begin. I will explain some of the basics that you need to know in order to make the most of our trading platform. How to download, manage and personalize Fortrade Mobile. How you can find a particular instrument and how to read current market data. How to open and read the chart. How to open and close trades. How to manage risk of trading using stop loss and take profit options. How to edit your account and how to make a deposit. You can download this platform directly from our website to either your iOS or Android device. You can also download it on Google Play for Android devices or via the App Store for iOS. When you want to trade, just select the application. If you already have an account with Fortrade, then click on Login. The start screen will always take you to your list of favorites. You can personalize your Fortrade mobile by simply clicking on the search bar and typing in your favorite instrument. Let's type in the stock Tesla. Click on it and on the top left hand side of the screen. If you click on the star, it will be added to your favorites. As you can see, it now appears first in the queue. If you're not sure what you want to trade, you can always have a look to see what other people are doing or go through a list. If you click on the favorites menu, you will find the most popular, biggest gainers, biggest losers, and an A to Z listing of instruments. You can add favorites in the same way as using the search function by clicking the star. You can, by the way, remove any favorites by clicking the star function in the same way. On your instrument, you can find the current sell and buy price. You can also see how much it's going up or down since the market opened or the previous day's movements. You can click on the micro chart on the right hand side for a closer look at one specific instrument. You can edit details like the time frame of the chart. And in the middle, you can select the type of chart, either Japanese candlesticks chart or line, bar or other charts. I'll choose Japanese candlesticks chart because it's more detailed and it gives more information. So I will show you how to read it. Japanese candlesticks chart shows two types of sticks red and green ones. Red sticks represent the time frame when the price went down and green ones represent the time frame when the price went up. For a closer look, tap on the full screen option. If you use the zoom in or zoom out options, you can clearly see how the price has gone up or down in a particular time frame. In the info section, you will find useful information about and the trading conditions for that particular instrument. For example, it will tell you the current open trades on the instrument. In other words, it will tell you the way others are trading it right now. You can see here 64% are selling and 36% are buying crude oil. Now I will show you how to open a trading position. So let's go back to favorites and we can find crude oil. So opening a position is very simple. You only need to select the sell or buy option depending on your trading decision to open a position. When you tap on buy, for example, a tab appears to buy a unit or units of that instrument. 
let's try crude oil. So we are offered the choice to open a position to trade with 10 units at the price of $70.5. Press buy to make the order. You can see the trade was opened successfully. If you want more options, such as to choose how many units to trade, click on the top right hand side of the instrument. In the top right hand corner, you will see where it says order. You can now select 10, 50, 100 units or more if you want. It's very important for you to understand the advanced feature options such as take profit and stop loss. These options give you the possibility of managing the risk of trading before you even open a position. Stop loss represents the level where your position will close itself automatically and prevent you from losing more money than you determined. Please bear in mind that our stop losses are not guaranteed, which means that if there is a gap in the market, your stop loss will get filled at the next available price. Take profit is the level where a position will close itself, collect potential profit made and direct it to your account balance. You can activate these options by simply checking the box next to them and then using the minus or plus options to adjust the desired level. In this case, we are opening a buy position, meaning that your stop loss level should be under the current price rate. The take profit level will be above the current price level in order for you to collect profit in the change of price. Now your position is set and you can tap on the buy button to open it. At the bottom left hand side of the screen you will find options P and L where you can see the current state of your trades and the option equity that shows the amount of money that you can still trade with. By selecting the option Open P and L, you will get a closer look at all of your open trades. Here you can modify your trades, for example, change or update your stop loss or take profit options. You can also duplicate your trade or you can close it if you're not satisfied with it. So let's close all of our trades. Returning to the main page, selecting the option account overview will show you details regarding the state of your account, like your account balance, current profit or loss that you're making and used margin, etc. Also in the top left hand corner on the main page, you can select the menu where you can edit your account, switch to real mode or deposit funds, etc. If you want to deposit funds, you can select the deposit option. In order to deposit, switch to real money. Here you can enter your details to make a deposit. There is one more thing that I'd like to repeat. If you need any kind of assistance while practicing, you can contact us directly from the platform using chat, email or by phone number. I would just like to remind you that trading on CFDs, as with any investment, involve risk to your capital. CFDs are leveraged products and there is no ownership of the underlying instrument. Thanks for watching. Please join us at Full Trade again soon.